Howdy sports fansy, good, good, good. PC players really are just spoiled for choice, with dozens of games releasing each day, often to the point where some gems go completely under the radar. Trawling through Steam charts should come with a health warning, it can be completely overwhelming. If you don't want to splash the cash, there are plenty of the best free PC games to catch your eye instead, but as you might expect, it's hard to separate the worthwhile from the filler. And also all the titty games, how many are there? There's like 5,000 new ones every time I look, there's so much boob. We're going to find some of the best PC games that won't cost you a dime, just so you don't have to figure out if Minecraft Ripoff X is a more worthwhile download than Minecraft Ripoff Y, and actually play something worthwhile. We've gone for an eclectic mix of different genres to make things far more interesting. It's not just Battle Royale games here. We're also including older games that maybe don't have the audiences they deserve, or perhaps games that many might have missed out on before. Let's not just put Fortnite and League of Legends on this list and call it a day, eh? We've also deliberately tried to avoid talking about the free PC games that are just like gateways into a grind without much else to offer apart from a wallet tease. We're mostly prioritising full games over like introductory deals. If you have some hard drive space that's existence is irritating, or you just want to make your Steam library look bigger, here are the best free PC games you should download in no particular order. Download links are in the description. 1. Marie's Room Marie's Room isn't a game that will change the landscape of the industry as we know it, instead serving as a worthwhile journey into someone else's life that you can get through in your lunch break. It takes only an hour to get through, but it's an hour that you will be glad you spent. Perhaps most easily and maybe cynically labelled as a walking simulator, Marie's Room is a mystery about two friends and the passage of time presented through a recollection that's open to interpretation. If you want to play something that will make you sit back and reflect, this is the free PC game for you. It's a nice, relaxing single player game that is completely free, and you can't ask for much more than that. 2. Doki Doki Literature Club Perhaps the most original game on this list, Doki Doki Literature Club may look like your ten a penny visual novel featuring high schoolers, or like one of the million titty games I mentioned earlier, but it's really anything but. While it is a little on the slow side to truly get going, it's worth the wait. To explain what makes Doki Doki already such a cult classic would be to spoil some of the experience. Instead, go into it expecting to have your expectations averted, but not in a terrible Game of Thrones kind of way, and remember that it is not for those that are easily disturbed. Consider yourself warned. I don't already feel like I've maybe said too much. 3. Quake Champions It's a little odd that Quake Champions isn't more popular than it is. It's a fine slice of retro arena shooting spliced with some modern sensibilities with a free introduction and plenty of content. Perhaps a modernised and tweaked Quake isn't what the fans wanted, but if it's just a fun FPS you want, Quake Champions will more than get the job done. The game's champions offer a different take on the arena shooter, and fall under the Overwatch umbrella of having different abilities suitable for different situations. It's no longer simply a case of who has the quickest reactions and best aim. Quake Champions really isn't the most popular entry on this list of the best free PC games, but it's supported well enough for you to really sink your teeth into it if you so wish, though the waiting around for a match is a little much at times. At the absolute worst, Quake Champions is a pretty brutal aim trainer. 4. Dwarf Fortress Classic Listen, listen, okay, so unless you have the patience to learn what many call the most densest and most confusing game ever made, you may want to swerve Dwarf Fortress, a maddening hybrid of different genres that is far more complex than its basic visuals may suggest. The keyword here though is creativity, though with the caveat that no matter what you do, you will eventually fail. It's just the way the game works. There isn't a grand story or obligations apart from keeping your fortress intact as you direct dwarves towards its upkeep and also expansion. That's pretty much it, but don't be deceived into thinking that you can simply pick up and master Dwarf Fortress. Serving as pretty heavy inspiration for Minecraft, view it as the ugly but somehow also stunning cousin in the sense that it will stun you into submission with its difficulty to Mojang's monolith and remember that dying is fun before you boot it up. 5. Crusader Kings the Second. One of the densest, most patricidal strategy games ever made, Crusader Kings 2 is one of the best free PC games around, and also just generally one of the best you can play. Period. Its free version was released on Steam to coincide with the news of Crusader Kings 3, which is also a brilliant game, but is not free. You are given a position of power in a country, and then the rest is up to you, or your scheming underlings. Whether you want to aggressively expand your kingdom across the world or get embroiled in a seemingly never-ending civil war in Ireland, Crusader Kings 2 is an absolute raw player's dream. 
You may need to hunt down a pretty chunky guy to ease you into the daunting experience though. You can lose everything pretty quickly and it's usually because of those asshole vassals, which I'll just call vassals from now on. Vassals. 6. Path of Exile The game pretty much custom made for those who want Diablo but without all of Blizzard's, well, nonsense. Path of Exile is a beloved dungeon crawler that will do its best to crawl into your life and utterly ruin all of your obligations. Developed by Grinding Gear Games, Path of Exile sees you trying to exact revenge in the continent of Rayclast, though you will probably forget all about that once you start digging into the massively deep customization, whether that's for your character and their skills or your fancy own hideout. A game that never dawdles by pretty much constantly changing and refreshing itself, Path of Exile does feature microtransactions, though they are primarily cosmetic and don't really affect gameplay. You could play for 100 hours and not even look at the shop for the game. That sword does look pretty nice though, mind you. Hmm. 7. VR Chat, where all good taste goes to die. VR Chat is basically if Ready Player One had any kind of self restraint whatsoever, it being a pop culture hangout where people from all across the world come to awkwardly chit chat and also take part in strange games they created themselves. VR Chat is filled with user generated avatars, so don't be surprised to see Licky Tongue chatting to Ganondorf within 5 seconds of loading in. Despite the name, VR chat can be played without a headset, but it really comes into its own when in virtual reality. Players are even fully embracing the second life aspects of VR chat with full body VR, tracking and all. Hey, if somebody wants to be scrappy do and antagonise people in a virtual world, that's their goddamn prerogative, okay? Remarkably, despite just how much maintenance it must take to keep it online, there are no microtransactions or hidden catches of any kind within VRChat at this time of writing. You can sign up to VRChat Plus, but it's not really mandatory at all. 8. Apex Legends Alright, fine, one battle royale game as a treat. It's truly remarkable the success Apex Legends enjoyed when it first launched. The almost unparalleled popularity of a new game with barely a shred of pre-marketing, making it a serious battle royale contender from day one, being something of an oddity. And that's without even considering that it is published by EA, who are nobody's favourite company. Even all them FIFA players with Stockholm Syndrome don't like them that much. But it truly deserves the limelight as Respawn, a studio who know how to craft an FPS with their eyes closed, delivered a game that charmed even the most jaded of Battle Royale veterans with innovations big and small. The pinging is inspired and the respawning mechanic far deeper for match flow than you may first realise, making Apex a game with a lot of depth, and it's still going really damn strong all these years later. One quick little Apex tip for new players, stick to your team for the love of Christ. It's also available on Steam now for anyone who's allergic to Origin. Pretty much everyone? Fair enough. 9. No more room in hell. What if left for dead, but free, is the basic hook of No More Room in Hell, a mod that was converted into a full free multiplayer game without any microtransactions. That's basically unheard of in the gaming industry these days, and the fact that No More Room in Hell is a total gem with some very rough edges doesn't hurt either. Taking a more grounded approach to Left 4 Dead, ammo is scarce and the game doesn't hold your hand. Rather than you being able to simply bandage your bites, the infection will spread throughout you and slowly turn you into a zombie. It's up to you whether you want to disclose that information to your teammates or not. You better get some practice in because a sequel is set for release sometime in the future and will even include the house from Night of the Living Dead as a map. Yes, please. And finally at 10, Brawlhalla. Affectionately dubbed Smash for poor people, Brawlhalla is a chaotic multiplayer brawler that has a lot in common with Nintendo's flagship, so much so that it will always struggle to separate itself from it. While it may never reach the level of success of its most obvious inspiration, there's plenty in Brawlhalla to gravitate to, which includes a decent pool of characters and approachable gameplay that makes it great fun with friends. Competitively speaking, Brawlhalla is susceptible to having a bit of an imbalanced meta and a somewhat toxic community, so you have been warned if you're thinking of getting serious. Regardless of that, it has more than enough to it to entertain you and your family for a few hours if you're switchless and just want some dumb fun. Or you know, you just want to play as Ben 10 for some wonderfully strange marketing reason. Instant 10 out of 10 there, did we put this at 10 just to talk about Ben 10? Maybe, you can't prove anything. So then, 10 free games on your PC that you don't have to spend a dime on. What did you reckon to the list? Is there anything you don't agree with us including, or is there anything you think we should have included? Which is your favourite of the games you've played? Let us know down in the comments below, and thank you 
for watching.